Good morning. Today we have a special Kentucky snake identification segment uh, because we have with us Dr. Steve Price, who's our resident herpetologist and associate professor in the Department of Forestry and Natural Resources here at UK, who's going to walk us through our snake ID for the week. And Steve, if you want to kind of walk through, you got our study specimen from some of your active research here, um, but a common snake found in central Kentucky and most of the state. Right. Yeah. Thanks, Matt. So I have with me um, a very common snake that we find, especially in central Kentucky in the bluegrass region. And this snake is a common inhabitant of streams and rivers. You tend to find these guys underneath large rocks or sometimes basking in shrubs along streams or rivers. And there's a couple characteristics that we look at when we identify, try to identify snakes. Um, one is kind of the, the shape and texture of the scales. And we define snakes as either having what we call like really smooth scales, okay? And sometimes these snakes are kind of shiny in appearance or rough scales. And these snakes usually have a little ridge through their scale. And if we can look carefully at this snake, it does have a little ridge through its scale. It looks a little bumpy. Uh, yeah, a little bumpy, right? So we can look at that on this snake, and that helps us kind of break it down into potential different groups of species, all that have these rough scales, okay? And then there's some other characteristics that we look at. And I have here an adult of this species, and also a little baby one, okay? And on the baby one, we can see on the belly, there's some lines there, yeah. okay? There should be about four lines on the belly of it. Yeah, they're easy to see. Them. Right. And if you look at the back of the snake, you can see that there's like about three dark lines, okay? Which you can't really see on, on her. No. As they get larger, a lot of times snakes lose their color, okay? So this guy has seven lines on them. On, 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 on this snake, and it has uh, rough scales or keeled scales. And that really makes it uh, our identification pretty easy, okay, after we see those two features. So this snake that we have here is a queen snake, um, a highly aquatic snake that likes to hang out in streams. And it likes to hang out in streams because it has a, a specific food item that it loves to eat. I was just going to ask you about yeah. that. These guys are food specialists, aren't they? Right. Do you know what it likes to eat? Uh, I do. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing other people uh, may not, yeah. but it's crayfish, isn't it? Crayfish, yeah. Especially crayfish that just molt. You know, crayfish will shed their skin, you know, and molt their, those ex that exoskeleton. So they're like a soft-shell crab kind Like of a soft-shelled crab, yeah. So these snakes specialize in eating soft-shelled crayfish, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this this is also almost an adult or sub-adult? Yeah, that's a that's a sub-adult, maybe a, about a two-year-old snake, and that snake is a male, okay? Mm -hmm. And this snake is about five years old, and okay. this is a female. Now you you mentioned something to us uh, before we started here about that snake and how many times you've caught it for your research project. Yeah. And that's that you caught it when it was the size of, of, this, of this snake one. right here. And that's yeah. why you know how old it is. And you said 20, was it 24 different times you've caught it? We've caught it 24 different times since 2016. All in the same place? All in the same spot. So it never really moves around? No, I mean, maybe it moved 10 feet, you know, upstream or 10 feet downstream from where we caught it, but it always has stayed pretty much in the same area. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, I know you've got a bunch of different things going on with snake research we don't really have time to get into, but at some point we'll have to invite you back so you can kind of tell people, especially the snake fungal disease aspect, which is a pretty important issue for our, our snakes in Kentucky. Yeah, so, sure. Love to talk about it so sometime. Thank you, Steve, for being here and spending time and bringing out your snakes for our snake ID. Thanks.